So Steven, Hi. you're my last stop, man. I had breakfast, you. lunch, brunch, not in that order, dinner, and now it's, it's We typically just, are the, the grand finale here at Eastern Market. I think you're a lot of grand finales because after people eat those big giant cookies, they probably pass out for a while. Maybe a little bit. They're, they're uh, just under a half a pound each. Half a pound cookies Yeah, each. yeah, so that's a, lot, that's a lot of dessert at the end of a lovely time at Eastern Market. So you're not going to be on any of those, like, uh, fat diets or anything like that? Uh, well, one could argue that uh, eating that cookie in its entirety will boost your metabolism. It shocks it. World's greatest cookie. I say world's, but you were actually voted like locally the best cookie on earth or something like that. We got the uh, a nod for best desserts from the Orlando Sentinel. Uh, Orlando Business Journal just came out with a list of the top 25 bakeries in Orlando. We were uh, at the top of the list, I'm happy to say, and we've only been here for five months. Five months, yeah, and you're already getting months. acclaim and awards, and people are, yeah. oh, there's people at your feet right now. It's crazy. That's you know, the way it goes. Usually it's a good 30-minute uh, uh, wait on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday to get cookies. We, for a cookie. Yeah. But it's, uh, is it's that a, all you do is just cookies? Or? We do two things. We do cookies, but we do cookies in a way that people are not used to. Our cookies take about 16 hours to prepare. A so it's not cookie. just like this quick... Uh, so it's not the Nestle Toll around. House kind of stick in the oven and you break apart. Not and anywhere close. Okay. We spend a lot of time and a lot of hand making these cookies, uh, giving them time to marinate so that those flavors are all what they should be. It's not often men make me drool, but you're doing it right I now. Know, I know. I'm hoping that's, that's, that's not getting in the cameras. I uh, don't want to uh, wait anymore because you've sold me. You sold me like five minutes ago. And we're good. Yeah, we shouldn't have to say anything. We just said, look at the cookie. That's there all you should have done. Yeah. Just walk up and go here, take a bite and shut up, and I would have done it. Yeah. So yeah, cookies we love. Uh, we also do cake slices, okay. uh, but we take just as much time with our cakes as well. Our cakes are so soft that we have to freeze the cake before we frost it, or it'll just rip to pieces. Yes, so we will bake our cakes at night. Let them freeze every night. In the morning, we start uh, frosting all the cakes for the day. We do cakes by the slice only here in the shop, uh, and uh, whole cakes via pre-order. Uh, and we'll have people, let's say they get up some sort of cookies, four, five, six visits in, and they finally realize, oh, you've got cake as well. And then, uh, <laughs> the then the obsession with the cake starts. We have an award-winning red velvet cake. We're known for being the only place in town that makes the true southern buttermilk red velvet. It's not a chocolate cake filled with uh, food coloring. It's uh, not too sweet, uh, as all of our things are. We're, we're a, it, and it's a weird thing to say, but we're a bakery that doesn't really like sugar. Okay. Uh, so we put the minimal amount of sugar in all of our cookies and cakes. We do rich desserts, but we don't do like just mouse food. You were very passionate about this. Was this like a family thing that somebody got you? Who was your influence? No, no disrespect to my family, but they're not very foodie oriented. I love them to death, but they, you know, they order carabas for Christmas and they're cool. Awesome, well, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. Cooking me, man. Cooking me. All right. Uh, this one is uh, a really popular That's one. That's a cookie? This is one of our almost half pound cookies. This is a pistachio toffee and dark chocolate cookie. Okay. Uh, which is uh, filled with, guess what? Pistachios, toffee, and dark chocolate. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Uh, so this one's really popular that because it's the most balanced of all of our cookies. We like to put a little sprinkle of sea salt on top to cut into the sweetness that, or the, the, the sugar that might be there to balance out even a little bit more. Uh, so this one's really popular. Uh, here is just a classic chocolate chip cookie, as classic as you can call our cookies. That's not classic. Uh, we Maybe fill for that you it is, with but it's chips a... on the inside and out. There's multiple kinds of chips. God. Typically, we do about. Uh, of six different flavors a month, and every month we do a limited edition flavor. This month is our uh, uh, peanut butter espresso cookie. And every once in a while, if the richness of this cookie has just kind of, you know, you've gotten used to it as you've eaten the cookie, then we do the next step. I do the next step. Is this? This what is, is one of our cookies. This is a cookie bite where we take our cookie, quarter it, and then dip it in chocolate and top it again. All right, what are you doing when you're coming up with these ideas? I, I, I'm not going to suggest that you're doing anything, but what, what's going on? I mean, uh, it's, it's really just the obsession to do something you need. And to me, if you're going to do it, it's got to be the best you've had. You wake so, up at 3 o'clock in the morning with ideas in your head, don't you? And you're like, you know what, I'm going to put 
quarter of the cookie and dip it in a bunch. Well, to Boom. say that would suggest that I fall asleep before 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> but no, we're still making cookies because these suckers take 16 hours to make. 16 hour cookies. Yeah. Can I bite into a 16 hour cookie? You, you can indeed. Would, would you prefer to start things off with I'm the gonna start off with the classic. Alright. Is there a special way to do this? Because it seems like I should have my pinkies up and my uh You're doing it right, Mike. Am I doing it right? Yeah. I'm going to tease myself a little bit. Oh my god. It's not too sweet. And there's a lot of chocolate on there. Oh, there's a lot of the reason why we take so long to make it. Because if you're going to put that much chocolate in a cookie, you want to have a strong vanilla as well. So we use real vanilla bean in all of our cookies and we give that vanilla bean time to marinate before we bake it. It's perfect, man. Yeah, those are our babies. It's another award. Got the Brandon High Five Award. That's awesome. Thank, Thank you, my friend. So I appreciate it. Good job.